Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. So last time, we were able to transform the general form to standard form. Okay, for today, we will transform the standard form of the circle into its general form. But before we do that, let us first write down the equation for the standard form of the circle. So for the standard form of the circle, that becomes x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. We need to transform this into the general form of the circle, which is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero where d is the coefficient of x, where e is the coefficient of y, where f is the constant. And that must be equated to 0. So 0 must be the value of the right side. Okay, so we are now given here for number 1, that is x minus 1 quantity squared, plus y plus 5 quantity squared is equal to 81. Note that this is in standard form. And we need to convert this into general form. So what do we do? Let us first analyze. We are given this equation. This is the standard form. And we need to make it this form. So what do we do now? What can you say? We have a parenthesis squared. What do we do if we have a parenthesis and then a square? Yes? Exactly. We need to... Very good we need to expand. If this is x minus 1 quantity squared, we need to expand that x minus 1 quantity squared. So this is how we expand. And this is my technique. This is x minus 1 quantity squared. We will not anymore be using the FOIL method since we are just multiplying this by itself. Therefore, this is how we do it. x times x. x squared. Okay? Negative 1 times 2, that is negative 2. Negative 2 times x, that is minus 2x. Okay? And then for the last term, that is negative 1 times negative 1. Yes, that becomes plus 1. And that is how we expand this binomial. That is x minus 1 quantity squared is just equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1. Plus... Let us now try to expand this binomial. y times y, y squared. 5 times 2, 10. 10 times y, 10y. Add 10y there. And then for the last term, that is 5 times 5. That is 25. So that is plus 25. And then transfer this to the left side since the right side of the general form is equal to 0. If this is positive 81, we, it becomes negative 81. is now equal to 0. So what happens? So general form, this is x squared, y squared, plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. We now have here x squared. Okay? We have x squared. And then... It must be plus y squared. Okay, plus y squared. What comes after y squared? Bx. And where is that? That is negative 2x. So that is minus 2x. What comes after dx? Ey. So what? where is ey? That is 10y plus 10y. And then all the constants. So we have plus 1, plus 1, plus 25 minus 81 is equal to 0. Rewrite x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 10y and then simplify. 1 plus 25 is 26. 26 minus 81 will result to exactly negative 55 is equal to zero and this is how we transform x minus one quantity squared plus y plus five quantity squared is equal to 81 into the general form actually this is not yet uh, actually um yes um if we will be dealing with this one 
The center of this one is located at positive 1, negative 5, and that the radius is equal to what is the square root of 81? 9. Okay, so this is our final answer. We need to identify the center and the radius and then transform. After identifying the center and the radius, transform the standard equation into the general form. Okay, this is the general form x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 10y minus 55 is equal to 0. Okay, and for the second one, since we are given x, minus, x plus 3 quantity squared plus y plus 6 quantity squared is equal to 50, let us now identify the center. Okay, since this is positive 3, the center will be located at negative 3. This is positive 6, negative 6, and then the radius is equal to the square root of 50. Okay, I will not anymore be... Um, Simplifying this one. So this is just the radius. Let us simplify it further later. So center is located at negative 3, negative 6, and the radius is equal to the square root of 50 units. Let us first expand the second example. Therefore, this becomes what? x plus 3 quantity squared. x squared plus 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times x is 6x plus... 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so that is how we expand x plus 3 quantity squared. Plus, y plus 6 quantity squared. So that becomes y times y, y squared. 6 times 2 is 12 times y. Therefore, that becomes plus 12y. Plus, 6 times 6 is 36. And we have here equal to 50 transfer that to the left side if that is positive 50 that becomes negative 50 is equal to zero again so that is how we expand x plus 3 quantity squared plus y plus 6 quantity squared is equal to 50 okay so the general form is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero so we'll be having x squared plus y squared we now have x squared plus y squared plus dx, so that is plus 6x, plus ey, therefore that is plus 12y, and then all the constants, we have plus 9, plus 36, minus 50 is equal to 0. Rewrite, we have x squared plus y squared plus 6x plus 12y, 9 plus 6, 9 plus 36 is 45. 45 minus 50 will give us an answer of negative 5 is equal to 0. So the final answer would be x squared plus y squared plus 6x plus 12y minus 5 is equal to 0. And that is the general form of the equation x plus 3 quantity squared plus y plus 6 quantity squared is equal to 50. So that is how we transform the given standard form into its general form. And for the last example, we are given x minus 7 quantity squared plus y squared is equal to 25. So let us now expand x minus 7 quantity squared. Therefore, it becomes x squared. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14 times x. Therefore, that is minus 14x. Negative 7 times negative 7, yes, that is plus 49. And then we only have here y squared, add y squared. Since the left side is positive 25, transfer that to the left side. Therefore, we'll be getting minus 25 is equal to 0. Okay? So, we have here the equation in general form, x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. Let's make it a guide. Therefore, it becomes x squared plus y squared. What is our dx? That is minus 14x. What is our ey? Do we have ey? No, since we only have y squared. And then we need to add the constants. So that is plus 49 minus 25 is equal to 0. Simplifying, we'll be having x squared plus y squared minus 14x. 49 minus 25 will give us an answer of plus 20, 24. 
Okay? So that is plus 24 is equal to 0. And that is the conversion or the general form of the equation x minus 7 quantity squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Do not forget that in, in transforming standard to general, always remember that the formula for the, uh, the equation for the standard form is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. And for the general form, we have x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. So I hope you'd learned something for today's video lesson. Once again, I am Engineer John Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.